time management has been on my mind this week. So this week's video, I'm going to talk about time management and how I plan to do more with less time. If you've been enjoying these videos, please hit subscribe and hit the like button. It would help me out a lot. And uh, sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk for a while. So this week we are talking about productivity and time management and how to overcome it. This is something that everyone struggles with sometimes, I think. We all have times when we think we have time to get something done or we put it off and then suddenly the project's due or, you know, we're running out of time to get it done or we're behind on things and it's like, oh my God, where did the time go? What was I thinking? Why did I put this off? And it just makes things so much more stressful. And recently, um, I've been having a struggle with time management, which is ironic because I have more time now and I'm having more trouble with time management than what I did when I was going to school and working full time. When I was going to school and working full time, I was on a very diligent schedule. I was very strict with it. I went to work from this time to this time. I went to school from this time to this time. I worked on homework from that time to that time. I spent this much time cleaning every day and it, it was very um, timely. It, it was perfect. And uh, since I graduated, I was a little bit less strict with my time, even when I was working full time. And now that I'm working part time, somehow I got it in my brain that I had all this time to get everything done. There's no need to rush, no need to, you know, be diligent about things. I can, I, I'll, I'll have time to do it tomorrow. And now, um, I'm, I've fallen behind with my goals. I fall, I fell behind with my Etsy store and I fell behind with my own personal goals. And so now it's time to crack down and stop messing around and hold myself accountable with being productive with the things that I want to do and uh, get things done. So what I've been doing this past week to start getting myself back on track is I've been focusing on staying busy from nine to five every single day. So my job, I work from nine until my work is done. So usually it's from like nine until like two o'clock. And so uh, I take the time after that and I am, make sure that I'm busy until five o'clock, no matter what. So it's like working nine to five. It's like having five full-time hours, but the last few hours of it is stuff that I want to do, things that um, are important to me that I wanted to accomplish. And um, it's been really working out. So far, I've been using that time uh, to walk my sister's dog because she's on vacation and I told her I would walk the dog uh, after work um, while she's gone because her, even though her fiance is still there, he doesn't get home until late. So I'm helping out with that. I've been... Um, Adding, I added three new products to my Etsy store this week, which I, I haven't added products since the end of May, so that's good. Um, and I started making a cardigan that's going to be added to my store once I finish making it and decide that it's good enough to sell. But um, yeah, so I've, act, I've been able to get a lot accomplished just by focusing on staying busy for an extra amount of time each day. Um... Let's see. Some more things that I intend to do uh, or that I might try in order to stay productive and continue getting the most out of my time. How I'm going to do more in less time. Some more things I might try are uh, using a to-do list. And um, so far I've been using a planner, which works out really well because you can put your to-do to list in your planner for each day. Um, and that works really well. So I might, with making a to-do list, I might be more like specific with it. Cause like right now I have, um, work on Etsy shop, uh, make video, uh, clean the house. Instead, I might be more specific from day to day, like work specifically on jewelry for that street, Etsy store, work specifically on gardening. Um, I think that would make things a little bit more punctual. Um, another thing I might do is called the Pomodoro technique. 
And this is where you set a timer for 25 minutes. Um, it, it works best for things like if you have a specific project that's going to be like time consuming, but you're kind of like putting it off because you're not motivated to do it. Uh, you set a timer for 25 minutes and work for 25 minutes. And then you take a five minute break and then you work for another 25 minutes and then take five minute break. And then you can do it for an hour or two hours or however long. And then you dedicate that time to getting that project done. And it makes it go by faster because you're setting a timer for 25 minutes and 25 minutes doesn't seem like that much. Um, this would be, that technique would be really helpful for me with, uh, especially with cleaning my house because I love having a clean house and my house is almost always clean, but uh, <laughs> I like having a clean house, but I don't like the idea of cleaning. Once I'm doing it, it's fine, but like I tend to put it off because I'm like, I did laundry yesterday. Do I have to do laundry again today? Like I do laundry every day and I still have to do laundry every day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that would be most helpful with like my household chores, like just getting them out, setting a timer for 25 minutes and getting, you know, the whole kitchen out of the way and then take five minute break and setting 25 minutes and getting the whole bathroom out of the way. And I think that would kind of make things move along a little bit better. Um, another technique is called eating the frog that I might try. And again, this is, this would work great with getting my housework done because that's when you get the worst or most dreaded task out of the way first. So if I get like my whole house clean for the day first thing, like on my days off or um, when I get out of work, I'm, it'll make it so much more peaceful and have a better peace of mind for the next task because that's already done. The, the stressful thing is already gone, you know? Uh... Another thing is starting early. Um, this kind of goes along with my nine to five thing uh, or staying busy from nine to five is if I get a lot accomplished early, it'll give me motivation to keep going. And once it's all done at the end of the day, it'll feel so good to say, wow, I accomplished so much today. And, it, and starting early really helps with that. And the last thing... Um, I'm going to try doing is tracking my time or just paying more attention to how I'm using my time because I did notice before that I was spending a lot of time doing things like playing solitaire on my phone or playing Candy Crush and I could have been doing more productive stuff besides just you know on my phone. So tracking my time so I know where my time is going and how I can use it better. Um, and then I think all of these things will be really helpful with being more productive with my Etsy store, being more, um, doing more stuff in the garden, which I do stuff in the garden every day, but getting more done as far as like weeding or planting more or, um, deadheading and stuff like that. I think designating my time better for the things I want to do will help me get more accomplished. It'll help me feel better about myself and what I'm doing. So, um, yeah, hopefully it works out. I also wanted to mention, um, how it's been going for me with uh, using less pl plastic and doing better stuff for the environment. Um, my God, it's hard to shop for things without buying plastic or avoiding plastic. Like go to the grocery store and try to buy as many products as you can with no plastic because you'll figure out that like 75%, 90% of your groceries or your products, even with avoiding plastic, still have plastic in them. Like, what the heck? It, like, I spent like 20 minutes the other day trying to find uh, mustard that wasn't in a plastic bottle and they don't make it. They don't make, like around here anyways, there's no mustard that doesn't come in plastic. Um, so what we've decided to do, to do is make some of our own condiments and things. Um, we're going to start making our own mayonnaise, our own ketchup, which I've done before. I went to school for um, culinary arts for a while, so I've done all that. Uh, the uh, conditioner bars are working really great in my hair. Uh, so far, my hair feels stronger. Um, it's still got a lot of dead ends. It's still frizzy, especially because it's been uh, humid out. But 
it feels healthier, which is a step in the right direction. Um, I am going to start doing um, less, uh, less like toothpaste, like, you know, what I'm talking about like I'm going to use the bamboo toothbrushes. Um, I'm using up what I have first because I have like a small stockpile of like body washes and things that I'm going to use because I already have them. And then I'm going to fully transition into just using bar soap, just using the bamboo toothbrushes and the um, tooth powder instead of the toothpaste that comes in a tube. And slowly but surely, I want to start incorporating more natural products into the rest of the household too. But I'm doing things one step at a time that way because it's there's no way to just eliminate plastic cold turkey um also we've been planting more stuff out in our yard um even nick has agreed to like stop mowing as much which i mean he it didn't take much to win him over because he he does mowing's a lot of work so he uh he's okay with not mowing and letting the yard be more biodiverse and we have a lot of clovers and things popping up and our yard has a lot of different stuff in it. Stuff in it, I've noticed. We have like little ferns, we have clovers, and all of that. So the environment stuff is going well so far. It's a slow process, but we're working toward it. And hopefully, uh, implementing more time management will help me um, be more environmentally friendly too. They kind of go along with each other. So, anyways, I hope this video was helpful to everybody. If it you enjoyed it please hit subscribe and the like button it would help me out a lot um, I'm also going to post a link to my Etsy store in the uh, description so if you guys are interested in uh, looking at that it's just handmade jewelry and handmade um, crochet products uh, it's not fully sustainable but that is something that I want to work toward again I have a lot of supplies right now that I would like to use up before I invest in more supplies but eventually I want to move in the direction of being um, made from like fully recycled products or things like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to post a link in the description. So check it out. Uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for our garden tour. Bye.